High school students across the United States are walking out of class in solidarity with widespread protests. They say their outrage over recent decisions involving white police officers and the deaths of black men. Still, some critics question the motives of these young people. CCTV's Henrik Sabrandi has this story from the state of Colorado. It's become almost a daily occurrence in the city of Denver. High school students hit the streets to vent their anger about race, justice, and law enforcement in the U.S. Yes, I'm very frustrated right now because just how it's happening in the world, it's just not okay. It really isn't. Today's goal was to get, like, our voices heard about everything. Police provide security as protesters directly or indirectly criticize them. We look at all of these cases that have happened, this police brutality, there is no justice whatsoever at all. Part of our responsibility is we have to pr protect some of the very individuals who are protesting against us, but we have to do it in a very professional way. Let me say this. Demonstrations that have become much more frequent and heated after the grand jury decision in the Michael Brown case now feature kids in their teens whose motivations can vary widely. I think that this is completely stupid. What? Uh, because he assaulted a police officer. Uh, that's kind of against the law. So why was he marching? I'm going to go get some lunch. <laughs> Early. Get a two-hour lunch. This is really dumb. Half these people don't even know what they're walking for. It may all seem rather unserious, just another excuse to skip school. But one academic who studies social movement says these issues are deeply personal to this younger generation. A generation with a higher percentage of kids of color than the ones before. These young people might experience being followed in the store. They might have police in their schools. Um, so they are very aware that this could have been them. Hava Gordon thinks that like the Occupy Wall Street movement, the latest protests in the U.S. could spur real policy changes later on. History shows that protest has accomplished a lot. Denver's police chief believes the Brown case and others could end up benefiting his city and these protesters. What's the teaching moment behind these incidents and how can we improve our relationship. Meantime, many students ignore calls to go back to class and march on. Your being present here today is really a symbol that there's something greatly wrong in our country. Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Denver.